Okay, today I'm going to show you a little bit about the privacy settings in LinkedIn. Okay, this is me, Mike Stafford, with CEG Partners. And first I want to show you the area here, the activity area. So you can see that I'm connected to a few people recently in the last four hours and that someone had endorsed me for skills and experience. And you might also be able to click here on see more and see all my other activities if I have my privacy settings to allow you to see that. Uh, and I'll show you where those and other privacy settings are controlled. So right here if you go to your name and then click on settings you'll get all these privacy controls that you can take a look at and set. So let's first look at uh, your activity broadcast, so what you're putting out in that activity window that I showed you. So uh, without having that checked, I had it checked earlier, so that activity did show up in that window. I could come back and check it, but if you wanted to be private, if you're looking for a job, for example, and you don't want your present employer, as this says, to see that you're up making updates, then you want to unclick that, okay? Save that. Um, and then this is again that activity feed. Who can see that? Who can see that activity feed? And I have it set that only I can see it. So you were viewing uh, through my connection. So you were viewing it as if you were me. Um, if I wanted everyone to see that, you know, on LinkedIn, I would click that. But I want to keep that private. I want everybody to see what I'm up to. And then this one's important. Uh, not a lot of people know about this one. Uh, when you go to look at other people's profiles, this will tell you tell them whether or not they um, get a a message and an indication, even an email in some cases, depending on how they're set up, um, that Mike Stafford had viewed their profile. Uh, I prefer to make that totally anonymous. If you want to go somewhere in between, you can be a little mysterious and make them guess. Uh, but I choose to be totally anonymous, and that's because I, I check on my competition a lot. And I don't want them to know that. Um, okay, and here's uh, another area uh, about who can see your connections. And I allow the people that I'm connected to to know the other people that I'm connected to. And I think that's helpful for networking. Uh, it allows them, if they see a, a, a shared connection, that's good uh, for relationship. But also if they see a connection that they don't have that maybe they, they want to reach out to and they'll uh, invite themselves to, to uh, connect with that person. So I think that's a good way to kind of help, help uh, uh, build more connections and network. And uh, that's what LinkedIn's all about. Uh, and then here you can, I'm not going to click here, but you can upload a new photo or upload a photo if you don't already have one and if you don't have a photo you certainly want one or people really don't pay attention to you at all without the photo um, and then this is an interesting box so uh, I leave this one checked because you know I don't mind if people come to my profile on the right hand side with this check they will also see other profiles that people have viewed uh, in addition to my profile. So again, I think that's good networking protocol. So I leave that checked. You may not want to, but hopefully that'll help you. And, and uh, with uh, one part, at least the privacy control settings, which not a lot of people know about. And uh, again, this is Mike Stafford with CEG Partners. Hope you enjoyed it.